now i come to the schedule for maharashtra this will be in single phase the notifications date of notifications are in front of you 22nd october would be date of uh, notification last date of making nomination would be 29th october scrutiny on 30th october and last date for withdrawal 4th and date of poll in maharashtra would be 20th 11 counting would be on 23rd 11 24 and you will notice that date of poll is wednesday this is deliberately which lot of uh, Uh, scheduling uh, whatever goes into scheduling we have tried that it is midday so that issue of urban apathy is handled and and in case of uh, urban apathy we are really really very concerned we want to make appeal through you to all our esteemed voters in the urban areas to please come and vote it's not it's not a healthy trend which is reflected if i give you a brief of what is happening across the elections in the urban apathy we will share this slide with you if you look at uh, various states you look at gurgaon you look at faridabad recently last elections you look at jubli hills hyderabad you look at bangalore south you look at uh, gujarat gandhi nagar kolaba mumbai city pune thane all are much much below the state averages of each state we will be conducting a special meeting of the municipal commissioners and dios within a week's time to appeal again to do whatever we can do to motivate the voters in the urban areas but the trends are really not not good if i show you the lok sabha the that was the lok sabha if i show you legislative assemblies see the lowest the kolaba was just 40% 62 of 64 urban acs in maharashtra were less than the state average in 2000 in 2019 so was the case in the parliamentary elections 2024 also and and just to give you a contrast if you compare uh, so what was the situation in lok sabha in kalyan was 50% mumbai south 50 Mumbai North, Thane, Pune, Mumbai, sir, everything 53 percent, and these were the lowest six parliamentary constituencies out of the lowest ten. So that's the state of uh, the urban apathy. We would be doing everything to counter it. Last time in 24 elections, we had all celebrities, all corporates, Amul, everyone involved. We'll do it again, and we'll also at this point emphasize. that this contrasts with a very positive trend in the constituencies like doda 72% riyasi 74% punch 74% rajouri 71% if they can go 70 plus kolaba can also go 40 plus in 24 lok sabha elections bastar was 68% 69% gadchiroli manipur states after state of areas so we'll be requesting through you we'll we'll have a special drive this time for the slum areas in uh, urban uh, urban areas and also the colonies all alike to have a real uh, urban push i do not want to name uh, specific thing but there are there are booths in Faridabad and Gurgaon in the recently held elections, and they are the poshest places where voting has been around 20 percent. So again, we will be doing a lot of work on this to, to do whatever we can do to attract the urban voters. Now, friends, coming to Jharkhand. Jharkhand, a very samrad state, has a very unique history. और वहाँ पर हम फिर से अपील करेंगे कि सब वोटर्स अधिक से अधिक मात्रा में वोट दें 